your indie and major artist. Real Talk 101 Radio. Talk and music radio. Indie artists, major artists, producers. On location interviews, fashion and artistry concert series, concerts, fashion shows, community. Real people, real talk, real issues. Check out the Fresh Friday Show. Real radio. Get it all right here. Real Talk 101 Radio. Visit realtalk101radio.com. Real Talk 101 Radio, what's going on? It's the bird, man. You already know. Look who I got next to me right now, Mr. Toya Williams. Toya Williams. Most beautiful voice in the business oh, right now. Oh, thank you, thank you. Coming at you with a dope interview. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's get it. Let's get it. Catch myself thinking about you every day. Victoria Williams. Work with music heavyweights like Jay Z, Dr. Dre, Anthony Hamilton, Snoop Dogg, Warren G, Busta Rhymes. Can you uh, can you think of one experience which stand out the most? Working hmm. with those individuals. I have to say, Dr. Dre. Yeah, that stands out the most. What experience do you when working with Dr. Dre? Real calm and peaceful. <laughs> and you know, um, professional, productive. Is he demanding like uh, other producers saying to me? No. Well, well, at least not with me, he wasn't. Okay, so before we get into everything, I want you to shout out your social media. Let everybody that's watching right now know where your social media is. Oh, okay. your, your Instagram, your Twitter, let them know where they can find you. Okay, you can reach, you can find me at um, Latoya Williams, Instagram, that's L-A-T-O-I-Y-A, Williams, uh, LatoyaWilliams.com, and also uh, Facebook, Latoya Williams. So when did you uh, first start singing, Miss Latoya Williams? Uh, I had to be uh, five, four. Five years old? Yeah. What made you start? I don't know. I just started. My mother sang. Oh, uh, you know, her life and, you know, does so she, I, I got it from her. Does she have that distinctive voice too? Yeah, she does. Can I hold That's cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so what would you say your musical influences are coming up as a singer? Um, Aretha Franklin. Oh. Mm -hmm. Gladys Knight. Um, Al Green. Johnny Taylor. Oh. Donnie Hathaway, Marvin Gaye, Man. yeah, The Temptation, uh, all mm -hmm. that good stuff. And does it make you? How does it make you feel when people put you in that same genre of music and that same category? Oh, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel good. You know, put in that category. That's that's an honor. Well, you have that distinctive voice, so. Oh, thank you. They, they, <laughs> you. You hear that a lot in the streets. <laughs> so originally you were signed to uh, uh, Snoop Dogg's Doggy Style Records. Latoya Williams. Hallelujah. Sister Blow. Sister Go. Yes. featured on uh, the LP Doggy Style All-Stars. Mm -hmm. How was that experience? It was it was a great experience. My first time ever being signed to a label and um, traveling, being on the road with, with a star like Snoop Dogg. And it was awesome for me. I had a great time. One of the, some of the best days of my life, actually. That's what I was going to ask you. Can you was a, a certain individual track one of your favorites on I like Fallen Star. I like Fallen Star. Real I, yeah. I like Fallen Star. And you know, every time we make love, every time. Um, I like everything I did with them. Okay. Yeah. 
Now you appeared on uh, major projects like uh, Bad Boy, The Wash, Soul Plane, those soundtracks. So how, how does that feel to, to come up on, on soundtracks like that? Did, was it a process to actually get to be featured on those or did they call you? Those actually just, you know, they called me. Yeah. I mean, you know, they, they well, like back then we were all family, the whole um, doghouse team. You know, artists, and we ain't got a lot, so usually in the studio and being creative and come up with stuff. Say you'll be back through. Oh boy, you sent chills through me. I just don't know why I can't leave you alone. Tell me what have you done to me? That's pretty much how it worked out. Okay, okay, so now you you actually switch it up a little bit and, and sing in some background for some uh, more soul, soulful artists, and even in the gospel uh, gospel category, background for Gladys Knight and Yolanda Adams. So, I started singing uh, background for Yolanda at the age of 15, did a couple of gigs with her, and then started to travel with Gladys Knight for years. Okay. Mm hmm how, how, how would you say the difference between the gospel music and R&B? Is there a difference when you have to sing background for Oh, uh, yes, it's a difference. Yeah. Is it a different feeling? Of course it's a different feeling. You know, gospel makes you feel good. Okay. You know, R&B does too, but you know, not like gospel. It's just a whole different... It's a whole nother place, a whole nother, whole nother type of... Um, energy let us know what that energy is where it takes you. the holy ghost baby the holy spirit okay you know what i'm saying i'm just it's just the fellowship you know with the people of christ it's now how is it singing uh for yolanda adams background is it is she pretty demanding or laid back oh well, back then it, no she wasn't it was she was really nice and yeah and that was years ago okay you know but is it is it a difference though i mean when you prepare for a background gig with, with a gospel singer as opposed to an R&B singer, like the preparation. Mm -hmm. Is it a difference? No, it isn't. Okay. No, it's not. I mean, no. With, with, uh, with, with Gladys Knight, we prayed before the show just like you would in the gospel. That's what I'm trying to get to, basically, mm -hmm. the preparation. Because, you know, different people, like Kevin Hart, he had his preparation. Oh, oh. Okay. On, you know, okay. On, on the stage, he do his little dance oh, and box oh. routine. What yeah, type yeah. of preparation go into it? I mean, other than prayer, do you, you have to go off on you to a, to a, to a side <laughs> and to be by yourself when you let that beautiful voice out? Or no. Be something you do this. I mean, you know, I always find me a quiet place. You know, I have to find me a quiet place. I always tend to do that. I just go for it. Yeah. Love. <laughs> right. well, I guess I gotta get these questions out. It's real talk, so I gotta get you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> now, now, recently, the EP Cupcake. Yes. Now, first, before we get into it, why the name Cupcake? You know what? I don't know. I, 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 I have been traveling in Atlanta at the time to do a gospel project for a friend of mine's, and um. We were driving around, I think we was in the parking lot or something, parking, and it, it was saying something in the car, like, look at them over there, cupcake, and I was like, what is that? So, you know, they told me what it was. Oh, so you was new to the word. Yeah, I was new to the word. That's the youngster's word. Yes. <laughs> so I said, oh, that sounds cute. I'm going to make that. Yeah, that's where it came from. So, you know, I, I, I have recorded so many songs. I picked, you know, about three songs, and that sound like they could be cupcake type of songs and uh, put them out and um, there you go, cupcake Which one is your favorite from the EP? Can't Leave You Alone. I like Can't Leave You Alone. Anything, anything significant behind it? No. Now you smile now. This is real talk on the radio. I know. We keep it behind it. Well, you know. <laughs> it's gotta be a story. There's all, I always have, I always, you know, write about other people's experiences and my experiences as well. Okay. So, um, I had to do something with a whole lot of people I know. Now when you do write though, do you, where do you find inspiration for the songs that you write? The track. You know, the track makes me sing. You know, the track makes me creative and... 
so sets you, the mood and the tone for my creative energies. So that's your style. You gotta hear the track. Give me a track first. And yeah. I'm gonna come up with my words. Uh huh. Got it. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. The <laughs> West Coast clap, huh? <laughs> so what can we expect uh, from Miss Latoya Williams in the future? We'll expect some more good music. I'm working on a project now. Um, the single is called Mr. Sweet Lover. And um, yeah, by the summertime, you'll hear some more music with me. Any videos coming up? Uh, soon. Soon, soon, very soon. Gotta make sure we get a video. Right? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Gotta make sure we make that happen. So let me, let's, every time we have an interview with any artist, whether a major artist or independent, we like to ask a question and give something they can give to an artist that can help them get over the hump. Mm -hmm. Something that can help them. One little nugget they can maybe use to get to a point where mm -hmm. you are or just any point they're aspiring to get to. What's something you can give to an artist? Oh my. Know the business. Get an attorney. <laughs> and um, value your gift. Know your worth. And that you'll be like all right. Came from a deep place right there. Oh, yes. Yes. A lot of people say that, right? You know the business. Know the business. First and foremost. Yes. One more time, social media, let them know where they can find you. Find me at uh, LatoyaWilliams.com. Also, Latoya Williams on Facebook and Instagram. And that's uh, L A T O I Y A Williams. And you can you can hear this song on Real Talk 101 Radio. That's right. You got it in rotation. In rotation. That's right. Yes. Latoya Williams. Latoya Williams. Real Talk What On Radio, I told y'all. Dope interview right now, Mr. Toya Williams. Yes. yes going really down. great, yeah. Let them know down. one more time. LatoyaWilliams.com, Latoya Williams on Facebook, and Latoya Williams on Instagram. Y'all got to right. There it is. See? L-A-T-O-I-Y-A Williams. Get it. Gotta make sure y'all spell it right. Oh, and go also, get cupcake and yeah, go get cupcake on iTunes, Amazon, Spotify, everywhere. Real Talk One On Radio. Dot com. Yes. I had fun, man. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> you blow me, you blow me, you blow me, you blow me away. Mm. What a mess. I have gotten myself into your best. I have ever had.